Hello. I'm Jim Olson from Western Illinois University and this is the second video of five videos on how to make online quizzes with hot potatoes. In this second video I'm going to show you how to make a quiz, save it as a JQZ file and save it as a web page which will have a suffix of HTM. You go to the JQuiz software and type in your questions. I've already typed in the first one and indicated what's going to be the correct answer. Now I'm going to go ahead and type in a second question. I think I will have the second question be 14 times 15 equals a blank. And here's where I'm going to type in the, the answers, both the incorrect ones and the correct ones. 29 might be an answer um, and then my feedback will be this is multiplication and now I'm going to pause the video while I type in the rest of the answers. Okay, I've now typed in the answers to the second question and this time answer B is correct. So I'm going to indicate that over on the right hand side with the checkbox. And now I'm going to save this. Before I save this I'm going to make a special folder that is going to house my quizzes. So I'm going to go to Windows Explorer and I'm going to go to my C drive and I'm going to create a folder here, a new folder called Math 206. I think it's a good idea to not have any spaces in folder names or file names. I found especially for web pages it's nice when there are no spaces in file names. So now I'm ready to save this. So as you might expect I'm going to go to File, Save As and now I will navigate to my C drive and to the Math 206 folder Once I get to the correct folder, I'll put a name here on this. I'll call this Mental Math 1. It is going to put a suffix of .jqz on there. Okay, so now I've saved that. Now I'm going to go ahead and make it into a web page. There's two ways you can make it into a web page. One is with File create web page and it's standard format. It also shows you the little picture here with the web with a six on it. And um, I'm going to save that right next to the quiz file. It's still in the Math 206 folder and I'm going to keep the same file name but it's going to have a different suffix of .htm. So I'll hit save and this is a nice feature of Hot Potatoes. It gives me the option to view the exercise in the browser and I like to do that to see if it's working properly. So it's automatically going to go over to the browser and typically we are going to get a beep here because of the security software and I need to click up on this top bar and allow the block content and then hit yes I do really in fact want to do that and here's Mental Math Quiz number one. There are two questions and this is the first question, 600 times 50. I'm going to go ahead and get this right. It says, very good, your score is 100%. Questions completed so far, one out of two. There is an option over here to show all questions for the user, but right now I'm just showing one at a time. In order to advance to the next question, I hit the forward arrow. The next question is 14 times 15. Okay, I'm going to get that one wrong. And here is the feedback. It says incorrect. Pull out a factor of 2 from the 14. Oh, I see. So I'm going to take 2 out of here and take 2 times 15, which is 30. And then take 30 times the remaining factor, which is 7. 30 times 7 will be 210. And that is correct. It says excellent. 
your score is 87%. Now, I'm not quite sure how they arrived at the 87%. We'd have to look inside the software to see um, how they arrived at that. And it says you have completed this exercise. Now, I can return to jQuiz and I can add more questions and type in um, whatever I want here, then hit resave, then hit file create web page or I can use this icon right here which is going to create the web page as well and then view it in the browser again. In this video we've shown how to make a quiz, save it as a JQZ file and save it as a web page. In the next video I'll show how to import graphics into a quiz.